This is a video showing the modifications done to a Lowry V100 Micro Genie. Micro Genie? Um, yeah, Micro Genie. Um, here's the keyboard. Uh, not much changed except I added a whole bunch of jacks. They aren't labeled right now, but basically it's arpeggio chords. Those are switched outputs. This is the square. This is the other square. Square low and high. This is all drums switched output. This is the main voice switched output. And this is the low bass, which is not normally accessible uh, in the sound. And this is the high bass, which is, and it is also switched. The rest is the kick, snare, hats, and toms, and then a clock input. Going through the mods real quick, it's tricky, but this board, the RH board, has all of the different mods in various places. Uh, like the toms are coming off here, the kick is coming off here, hi-hat, snare. Um, and then the clock input is coming down here. Um, this this connector right here which is CN8 on the other side of the circuit board um, has most of the ones like the bass, the arpeggio and the chords and the clock input. The clock input is the second one from the bottom here. So one, two. Um, this is the low bass that is not normally accessible sound wise. It's the fourth in here so it's 22, 23, 24, 25 and also you can find the other ones coming off this main IC number 3. Um, what else? So this row of jacks here is a bunch of 8th inch jacks that go to again this pin or this IC which is also uh, conveniently connected through this point which I just wired it up not switched so it's some sort of um, system where it makes all the waveforms on this IC and then adds and subtracts and filters etc to make the different voices of the synth um, going along here we have uh, sawtooth low mid high one two three and then square low and high and then a sort of sine wave low low mid high mid and high these last four. Uh, that's about it. It all works now and I recapped it somewhat. I had to destroy some of the battery housing just to get the jacks to fit in there because there was very limited space within the synth itself. That's about it.